My Grandfather's Clock is a song that's based on a true story about an American man who went over to England on a holiday and he stayed at a hotel called the George Inn. And at the George Inn he heard the most fantastic story, which is our song today. Instead of going home in America and writing it down in a newspaper or a journal of sorts, he wrote it down in a song. And this song has changed history forever. How many of you have ever maybe encountered a grandfather's clock? Well, those were just called simple old mechanical clocks, maybe even a floor clock before. Mm -hmm. And when Henry C. Work, our author of this song, popularized the story of this mechanical floor clock which belonged to the owner's grandfather, we now and forevermore call it a grandfather's clock. So, listen carefully and enjoy this fantastic story. No wonder he wanted to write it down and immortalize it forever. It's a really good story, so sing along with me if you can. My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half than the old man himself, though it weighed not a penny weights more. It was bought on the morn of the day that he was born. It was always his treasure and pride, but it stopped short. His life seconds numbering tick tock tick tock it stopped short never to go again when the old man died in watching its pendulum swing to and fro many hours had he spent while a boy and in childhood and manhood the clock seemed to know and to share both his grief and his joys and his job 24 when he entered at the door with the blooming and beautiful pride but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died 90 years without slumbering tick tock tick tock his life seconds numbering tick tock tick tock it stopped short never to go again when the old man could hire not a servant so faithful he found for it wasted no time and it had one desire at the close of each week to be wound and it kept in its place not a frown upon its face and its hands never hung by its side but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died ninety years without slumbering tick tock tick tock his life seconds numbering tick tock tick tock it stopped short never to go again when the old man died it rang an alarm in the dead of the night an alarm that for years had been dumb and we knew that his spirit was pluming his flight that his hour of departure had come still the clock kept the time with the soft and muffled chime as we silently stood by his side but it stopped short never to go again when the old man died Twenty years without slumbering tick tock tick tock his life seconds numbering tick tock tick tock it stopped short never to go again when the old man died so i hope you'll never forget that story whenever you see a grandfather's clock from now on Thanks for singing along with me.